and fellow RC enthusiasts, it's your host Tom Cogswell here to tell you how to update your Spectrum Smart Chargers in our next quick hit tutorial video. Spectrum Smart Chargers do have an updatable firmware that allows you to update the interface, fix bugs, or in some cases with the older models, to update it to our new G2 interface to be able to support the G2 batteries. These G2 batteries don't have a balance lead on them, so you would need an updated charger to be able to charge these properly without having any issues of balancing. To do this procedure, you will need a couple things. We do recommend a Windows-based PC or laptop, like I have here, and in some cases, you will need the SPM XCA update cable. In other cases, like the S1100 and some of our other chargers that have a micro USB port on the side or a USB-C port on the top, you will be able to update it via USB, so just keep an eye out for that. And also check out our update document, which I'll have in the description below, that'll give you a better idea of the procedure. It is really simple, but I'm gonna walk you guys through it here on my laptop and via the Spectrum Smart Chargers. So for this video, we're gonna go ahead and update my older S 1200 DC charger. You will need power for the charger to update. So for me, I'm just gonna use a battery to plug it in. Uh, you could use your power supply or whatever it is DC, so just plug in something within the input voltage range to power it on. Also for this one, we're gonna be using the SPM XCA update cable, and you're gonna plug it into the kind of headphone looking jack on the side. So just get that prepared, and then we're gonna jump down to our computer, and we're going to download the updater program and go through the update process. So first up on your internet browser, just pull up Google Chrome or whatever browser that you use and you're gonna go to horizonhobby.com. I just have it linked here, but you're gonna go to horizonhobby.com and you're going to look up the charger in question. So in my case, it's the S1200. Go to its product page. And you're going to scroll down to manuals and support. Here you will see the Smart Charger D2 update instructions and change log. We're going to go there. And normally it'll pull up a PDF. It might download the PDF. It kind of depends on your internet browser. You'll go here. You can read through the instructions. We kind of map it out pretty well here. And uh, if you do have trouble with drivers, which we'll cover a bit later, there is a download right here that you can use to download an additional driver to help with any kind of driver issues that you might have. They should just work, but they, in some cases you might need it. it just depends on your computer. And we're gonna click download here. So you got G2 user interface, and we're gonna have all of our currently available chargers right here. So like I was saying, we're gonna do the S1200. So I'll download that. And normally, just like on my screen here, it'll download it in the bottom left-hand corner. If you're on Firefox, it may be up in the top right-hand corner. Just know that it's gonna download this zip file for you. An easy way to get there is to tap on the little arrow and click show in folder, or you can open up your browser, your uh, file browser, uh, explorer, whatnot, and you can go to downloads here. So I'm gonna go ahead and show this in folder. We're gonna double tap on it. You're gonna click it open and you're gonna hit extract all. Make sure you do this first. Pull it extract. And now that it's open, we're gonna open up. So this is the extracted folder. It should just automatically open it up for you. And you'll have this SCU program here. Right click on it and click run as administrator. Normally you don't really have to do this, but I just do it by habit just in case your computer decides that there's something like it is here. It doesn't think that it's a, uh, it thinks it's an app that you need to be protected from. So just click on more info and click on run anyways. Again, Windows is gonna say, are you sure? Yes, we are. And here is the updater app. Pretty simple to use. So at this point, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and plug in power to your charger or turn it on like that. And then you're gonna plug in the USB port into the side of your computer. And then we're gonna look at the screen 
And on here, if you don't see app version down here at the bottom, or it doesn't, or it says that the uh, to connect the device has failed, even though you know that you plugged it in, go ahead and click on driver and install the drivers that are available for you. And then if you are still having trouble getting the driver to install, go ahead and go to our PDF, the link that we showed you on the Spectrum Smart Charger manuals page, and click on this link here where it says, uh, if the included driver package fails to install, download this alternative ver version, uh, and you can click that and in download it and install that one. Really, it should just work when you plug it in, but if not, you can go ahead and do that. You know it's working if it says app version and then it tells you the version that is currently on your charger. If you've gotten to this point, just go ahead and hit update. And then your charger will start saying that it's updating. Just like that. Pretty simple, but you just go ahead and let it go through its process as it's going through that, and then you'll be up to date. All right, and if you guys have any questions, go ahead and leave those in the comments below, or if there's more Spectrum how-to videos that you would like to see, go ahead and also leave those in the comments below. This is Tom signing off for this how-to video. Thanks for watching, and happy flying or driving for everybody out there. Thanks.